is what you're doing in paying on this card is that really helping her? I don't know if she's learned her lesson. But I'm telling you, I yeah. have Let the money. Let her respond. <laughs> no, it's not teaching her how to be responsible and how to budget her money better. And My name is Riley. I'm 20 years old. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming up from San Antonio. We haven't uh, had someone, I think, 20 in a while. <laughs> Since we've been having more like upper 20s, early 30s, so this is pretty cool. It's always good to catch things early. <laughs> financially uh what do you do what do you do there right now um i am a front desk person at a super eight hotel down okay. in san antonio um it's not the best hotel it was just like a that super eight <laughs> you kind of like flip into a book to find like a name and you put your name your finger on like the first name you find that was kind of how i found the job because oh. i was struggling to find a new job because before i worked at um a, like a really high-end restaurant in texas and they were underpaying me for how high end and much of a government building it was. Um, and before how much that, of a government building it was. Yeah. Um, so it was a high end government. It was the the Tower of the Americas in San Antonio. Okay. It was like a tourist attraction yeah. area. And that um, the, the restaurant in there is owned by the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How so much were you making? I was making eleven dollars an hour. What are you making now? I am making fourteen an hour. Okay. How many hours a week are you working? Eighty currently 80 hours a oh, I'm week sorry. no 40 hours a week so 80 oh, hours every two I was weeks <laughs> say, that would have been insanity 80 hours every two weeks we had payroll coming of 1646 dollars i am making more at a low costed hotel than i am at a at a fancy restaurant building but well, that would be about 2426 before taxes i'm making about two two thousand a month roughly right now so you're not working a full 40 i am i am math is not mathing how okay you said 14 an hour right yeah times 40 times that by four 2240 you say you're making 2000 before taxes where's the mysterious 240 going are you being underpaid is there anything funky going on are you getting exactly 40 hours it would be sometimes like 38, sometimes 40, sometimes I'll skip a day of work and it'll be um, cuz I have school stuff. I have I'm starting school again, so I've kind of cut down my hours. You are. Yeah. Um, I'm cutting down the hours to um, I'm off 2 days a week. Even if we, you know, times it by 52 weeks and divided by 12 mm -hmm. to give us an average, it would be about 2426 cuz some months are longer. Mm -hmm. Some months are shorter. Yeah. This is a shorter month. Mm -hmm. um all right so you went back to school yep. going back to school mm -hmm. what are you studying right now i'm studying psychology <laughs> okay what, what it's just the the basic white girl degree <laughs> to some people <laughs> <laughs> and it's a long it's a very long period i was told that oh if you want to do psychology you've got to you got to be able to you know withstand 12 years of college if you want to get a real oh. a real pay a pay grade and I'm like, well, I so can that's your plan. No. <laughs> um, I mean, I can work with a bachelor's. I want to work in ABA. So with kids with autism. Yeah. So um, I can work for a bachelor's and still be making enough money. How much? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. You, you, know, you Googled it, right? Online. It says I could be making up to fifty six dollars an hour with like a like a like a fifty six thousand a year. N no, no. fifty six dollars an hour would give you twice that amount of money a year. I'm just going based off what Google said. Google said fifty six. If you're, well, if it says up to, so that's probably the extreme high end. Yeah, up to. Yeah, um, I haven't minored in anything. It went from I've changed it from nursing to psychology to criminal justice, back to nursing, and then back to psychology. Okay. So <laughs> I've changed. How it. How many years have you been in school? I. I enrolled in 21, so three years, but I'm still a s sophomore. By credit hours yeah. obtained? I only have 18 credit hours right now. And this is 100% what you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I don't. I mean, it's probably going to change in the next when why? I- Why? If this is 100% <laughs> what you want to do, why? Because I'm going to transfer to a university- after, because I've been in a, my main Are you goal, community college right now? Yeah. Okay. So That's great. it was getting the credentials out of the way. And then they said that it was going to be a lot harder to change the degree once you move to a community college. 
And I was like, okay. You mean to a university? Yeah, 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 to a university. Okay. And mm. and I was like, well, once I get to a university, am I stuck? And they're like, not necessarily. You no, can. people change majors all the time. I yeah. did. And, and um, I was like, okay, so this is what I want to do. Okay, well, be careful because that's a 12-year plus degree that you got to focus on. I know, but we already talked about the job you want to do, which, <sighs> uh, I mean, I personally do not know, but you're saying it just requires the bachelor. Mm. Well, No master's? Um, if I wanted to go ahead and start my master's, um, it would still be paid for. So I could, if I wanted to. What do you mean you'd be paid for? So right Your now, school's paid for. Yeah, right now I get military benefits, so I get uh, money from the the military to pay. Who for served? My, my dad. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So my dad served military. Um. And I I do um, chapter thirty eight I think. Um. So I was on academic dismissal for a year. Why? Mm-hmm. Meaning that they they kicked me out for a semester. Why? Because my GPA was below a two point oh average. Why? I mean, community college. Mm-hmm. I mean, community college is great. It's a great resource, but it's also the gen eds in community college are pretty easy to pass. The gen eds, gen eds specifically. No, I the I would have totally passed if math was never invented. <laughs> well, a lot of it, a lot of the world revolves around it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I use really only very basic math in my job because things don't get too crazy. So you probably won't use the majority of it, but I mean, we all had to take those classes. Yeah, I mean, in high school, I had like special help with with math. So those transcripts never like scheduled over to college. And the college was basically just like, well, if we don't have your transcripts, then we can't help you with your freaking line to line work with your um accommodations with with college basically meaning that they can't move over my my accommodations what from math high school was it? algebra okay well guys it's a new year and you need to make your money work for you you can do exactly what I literally do right now and put my money in the best high yield savings account, SoFi. I get a 4.6% yield on my money and I also took advantage of the bonus of up to $250 when I signed up. You can start 2024 off amazing by doing the same by going to the link in the description below. It's not the worst in the world. Trust me, I, I wasn't great in math class, but I got through it. I know, I failed it twice. They said if I failed a third time, they're gonna put me on academic probation. I got on academic probation and then... Oh, so did you pass it? No. So you still have to do it? I only have 18 credits in the span of a three year period of me being in college. So is college right for you, dude? Is this yes. the right path you're going down? Why I'm, yes? I'm really you trying. Proved it. I'm really trying. Are you really trying? Yeah. Three times in algebra? Get this though, I moved out and I'm paying my own bills too. So I mean, why? If, because I'm tired of living at home at 20 years old. I mean, I mean, school is different from being independent and doing your own things at home. So I feel like I work I mean, better. I'm okay with you doing it. I mean, it's fine. Why? If, if, why? Well, I'm okay with you moving out. Oh, well, yeah, you are. Okay. Um, I mean, if the finances <coughs> support it. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to be able to work a full 40 hours and you're back in school? How many credit hours a week are you taking? I'm only allowed eight credit hours right now. What do you mean allowed? The school will only allow me to take two classes. Because so you suck so much at school. Yeah. <laughs> um, because that's probation. Since I was on the probation, they won't allow me more than eight credit hours. What do you do to get out of it? I have to bring my GPA up at least to a 2.0. You're not at a 2. Point, you're below a 2. It's her. <laughs> <laughs> Math sucks. I did fail one university class because it was just... Oh, it was the, it was well, I mean... It was, least- a, it was an advanced class as well. Yeah, at least I'm like going through the the first. The class sizes are kind of small, typically at community college. What is it? What yeah. are there like 30, 40 people in that math class? Like not even like maybe fifteen. Dude, that's so much better. Because if you were at a university, that math class, that algebra would probably be in a uh, uh, auditorium with like 300, 400 people. No, I couldn't do that. There's even you people. can go to office hours and actually meet with the actual teacher, not even a TA. Well, in your situation, I can do homework at my job. My job is so slow to where my manager's like, you know, I don't give. Well, a- where is the issue then? There isn't an issue there. It's just the issue of like, I guess there isn't an issue. Because I'm just trying to figure out if college is right for you. Maybe it's not. Maybe we go for certifications of some kind. Like what? Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> I want to work in psychology. It's what I'm. It's what I'm good at. But you've changed your major a million times, and you said you might change it again. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm going to change again. Probably not. No, I'm not going to change again. It's it's going to be psychology. That gives me a lot of confidence. <laughs> 
<laughs> no certifications can be anything. I, you know, probably not trade school from what you're talking about, but there might be oh, certifications no. for you to work with people with mental health issues in yeah. the uh, in the kids side because I know that's uh, in the schools in uh, schools and daycare and through a lot of places. I know that's an area where there needs to be qualified people who have a great heart who are willing to work a very hard job for a lot of hours. And I'm sure there's uh, certifications out there to get your foot in the door. You might not be able to do the dream job you want to do, but I bet you could do that because you're not required to take a bunch of math to get that. And if you're going to fail for the third time and no longer be able to even go to school and we just wasted all this time, it's going to be bad. I mean, I always talk about my boys over at Course Careers for their tech certifications, but there's a lot of certifications outside of that that are good that could be good in like the medical field as well. Again, yeah. you're not going to get the super high end job probably yeah. in, in that situation because a lot of the medical things do require more degrees and then advanced degrees. Cause... Well, we could get you in the door. What would get me in the door? We could get you in the door. Oh, please do. <laughs> Cause I need help. <laughs> um, Cause an RN, if I wanted to go for nursing, I have family um, in the nursing field. So if I were to be an RN nursing, but you said you wanted to do psychology. You're not going to change it. Why I'm nursing? Not gonna, I was, panning out all of the different degrees that I, I declined and I didn't want to do. So I was, it went from, I also didn't, I also wanted to do sociology too, because sociology, I was recommended. That's the other generic. Yeah. Maybe. I was, I was recommended sociology from somebody and they're like, well do sociology cause it's still psychology, but in a different like yeah, but sub again, What would you do with that? A lot of people get sociology, then they go to law school or something. Yeah. I don't think you're going to law school. No, most most of what I can probably do is just be a counselor at a high school, I guess. With a well, with a bachelor's. Requi- <laughs> with a bachelor's, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't require a master's? No. No. Okay. I've had professors tell me all you need is a bachelor's and you can be at least a You work a lot of hours. I do. And you moved out. Yes. But you have a this is a pretty chunky credit card. Uh-huh. Now, you made a decent payment towards it, but interest is accruing. It was $2,389. We took $1,000 off, but uh-huh. interest of $29.83 brought it up to $1,418. What uh-huh. is going on with this? Why do you have this? What sucks is that I have... What you just said kind of sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher to me. Because I know what interest well, is. Well, you really can't do math because numbers I, no, are scary. I, I cannot. Literally, I cannot. Like, I know what interest is. I know I have 18% interest. So it's not the worst when it comes to credit cards. Yeah. Um, but 16.24 with, with my credit card, I max that out to 4,000. Um, what do you mean you max it out? Max it out or maxed it out? Ma- so my max, I got confused with the credit debt and the credit limit. So my parents got hey. me a credit card and I ended up getting a max credit limit of eight thousand dollars so i could spend up to eight thousand dollars that's what that means right <laughs> so i i would use it and i would take my boyfriend we would we would just started dating we would credit go out is twelve thousand five hundred on it now yeah well when well, i looked continue. at it last yeah continue. um me and my boyfriend me and my friends we would go out and i'm like oh i'll pay for everybody i got it i'll <laughs> I'll, I'll spend the money don't worry about it it's just a credit card so i would i would pay and pay and pay and pay and then i called my mom one day and i wanted her to be proud of me so it's just like hey i've got four thousand dollar credit on my credit card and she's like credit limit or credit debt i was like what's debt <laughs> and she's like oh that's bad i'm like oh really okay um so it's four thousand dollar debt then she's like that's bad why did you do that i'm like I thought that was good. And she's like, no, your credit limit at the time, it was uh, it was 8,000. So I was like, okay, well the credit limit's 8,000. That's good, right? And she's like, yes, but you were $4,000 in debt. <laughs> so I started paying it off maybe like for a month. And then my mom and dad, they were like- When was this? Last year. Okay, and then what? And then they were like, screw it. You're not gonna pay this off in time give it to me so my parents took it and they're still currently paying it off right now you didn't pay this a thousand dollars the four you mean the four thousand no the thousand dollars that went to this card this last month was from them they they're they've been paying it off from four thousand to where did 
<laughs> they they just basically gave up and said you're not going to pay this in time. Go after the people. You're you're moving out and you have a four thousand dollar credit card. You're not going to pay that off in time. You're going to get so overwhelmed. So just give it to me, and then we'll pay it. And then whenever. Well, listen, I don't want you to suffer in debt, but is that helping you? Is that teaching you? I don't think so. I think they're done. You get it to zero, and over the next couple of years, maybe even when you start making more money and your lifestyle inflate yourself, you just bring it right up to the 12500 That sounds like some forms of enablement to me. Well, I mean, they said, well, whenever we pay it off, over time, you can pay us back that 4000 I'm like, okay, cool. And they're like, well, we're going to keep it, but if you need help with like something with your car or with your cat or with your dog or something, you can just ask us for it and you can use it and then you can pay that uh, off. Why, why are they just, well, I'm curious, why are they just like funding, you, you make money. Yeah. Where's the money going where you can't take care of yourself as an adult? You wanted to move out yeah. like an adult, Yeah. but you have to rely on them taking care of you? I'm, I'm confused. Why can't you take care of your own shit? Well, I can. I can. I mean, then why don't you? I do. I do. I mean, if not from everything you just said, my rent currently is a thousand, like fourteen hundred something like that. Well, that's insane. You can't afford to f live. You can't afford to go out. Yes, I can. No, so you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Income that came in was sixteen hundred. Rent is twelve. <laughs> um, that's not a forty. That's your needs eighty percent. Girl math. That's your. This is not a joke. I'm, I'm not. I'm not treating it as a joke. I mean, I, I, it's girl math. <laughs> I, math, math says it's about eighty percent of your income. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we get income from other other ways too. Um, well, I saw. Okay, I saw one hundred twenty eight came in from Lackland, and two hundred sixty three came in from Cash App. So two thousand dollars. So even still, your rent of what again? Almost fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's seventy percent. 70%. You cannot afford it. It shouldn't be higher than 30%. Well, what I do is I go donate on the side, too. So there's... Where was it? It didn't come in, so you didn't. I haven't done it in a long time. I hate doing okay, it. Okay, so don't say you do it. But if, if like, for whatever reason, like, I feel like we're low, a couple hundred dollars on rent, we'll go donate for the first couple days before rent's due. We'll grab the money. No offense. You could not move out. I did, though. Yeah, but you're not affording it. And don't say I am affording it, because I'll tell you how you're not affording it. They're paying your credit card bills. They're taking care of expenses that pop up. You can't afford it. You're being enabled. I'm not being enabled. Yes, because your money is going to f you. <laughs> well, I when mean only 2.4% of our spending goes to groceries, but then 4% goes out to eat, you're being enabled. When <clears throat> money being spent on things that are not even close to needs in any way whatsoever, just other miscellaneous bull is 10.8% of your spending, you are being enabled. Because that should be going to credit card debt. That should be going to other expenses that you can't take care of, but they're paying for it. When 9.1% is going to nail salon. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. It's going to super eight the people that are supposed to pay you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why'd you rent a room? Long story. I'm curious. I was being a helpful guardian. There was a, um, a veteran staying there, and he couldn't pay the rest of his room, so uh. I... I love the heart, but I shit. offered to pay the rest of his room for him because he was suffering and he needed help. I love the heart. I, I love the heart. I have a very big heart, yes. I just don't know if what's being done for your financial situation is actually helping you long term. Because, yeah. again, I don't want you to have to pay off a bunch of credit card debt. That, that's not what I'm thrilled about. I don't want to see you suffer. I don't want to see you hurt. I'm just afraid you, you didn't learn anything from it. Oh, I'm definitely learning now. I'm definitely. I know, but like. Before, no, I was very reckless with my money. And it was just. what? Before the credit card debt, I was just very selfless with my money. And if sometimes I would take money out of my, uh, my savings, I was supposed to go to rent and just take like. I don't know, like five, six dollars if I wanted coffee or something. And then I would immediately go and donate the next day. So I have enough more money to use for rent and have it paid off by the time that rent's due. Um, and then still have like 30, 40 bucks for like gas and stuff like that. So I was always like, so set. cash app your spending account then? No. What it's, is this? What's the point of it? I mean, you're losing money on it. You put it in 146, 146 went out, but you also were charged two dollars and ten cents to use it. So what's the point of this? You already yeah. have a checking account. What's the point of this? I use Cash App when I go to my tattoo shop because they they use Cash App to pay. So I get money, put it in my Cash App. No, why not just use Cash App then? It's free. 
Yeah. Instead of using this thing that you're paying a fee for. But I have Navy Federal. Also, no, exactly. Cash app from Navy Federal to them. Instead of having this cash app, like, checking account thing that you have. Huh. I didn't know I could do that, honestly. You didn't know that you could use cash app in a normal way that everyone else uses it? Well, I have a, a cash app card, if that's what you're saying. I know. That's that's what's happening. That's why you're being charged a fee. A fee? Like the like to get to get money out of your checking account? Two dollars and ten cents was your fee to use the account that you have with them. Yeah. Yeah. If you just use a normal cash app, which takes from the checking account you already have to their cash app yeah. account. That's free. Yeah. That's free. Yeah. You could do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I do. I use it for like little miscellaneous stuff. I don't use it as like a a fallback. What are, what are these? They're blacked out. I mean, it's a hundred dollars that you spent plus a fee, then twenty dollars. That's a dollar. That's most likely from like my tattoos. There's like the twenty dollar fee was like the the down payment, and then the the hundred was for my tattoo, and then when my family finds out that I've gotten a tattoo and I ask for gas money, they're like, well, you use your tattoo money to go get gas then. And you bought a dollar of Apple stock? Yeah, I tried. I thought it would be cool. I don't, I, like, I'm opening up to new things. You know, I thought, it, I thought, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know what it was, but I, like, I've heard people like opening stocks and like getting more money and being successful with it. So I was like, let's try it. And I got 96 cents out of it, so... I mean, you got 96 cents. It came back with like 96 cents in stocks for like Nike. You put it. What was it? Nike? So you open like a new thing. Yeah. And you got free. Yeah. By the way, you can do that with Moomoo links in the description below. Get a bunch of free stocks. It's pretty sick. That's what I personally use. I use a lot of girl math. I use a lot of like. That I'm so, that was, first of all, that was a meme from like two months ago. Yeah. The internet moves quick. Huh. Yeah. And second of all. It's back. Uh. Math math is the real math when we're actually talking about your life and improving your situation. But if real math doesn't work, <laughs> then we transition to girl math and we use it to live. But I, I know you're saying that I'm not financially stable. I'm not financially. Um, well, no, because you can't take care of your own bills. I can. No, you can't. I have been. No, you haven't. <laughs> They're paying your credit card. That's not. I don't use that for my bills. I have no, 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 own. but that is a bill you have to take care of, and you are not taking care of it, so you cannot take care of your bills. I will be. But you're not. I have. You're not, and you said you are, but you're not. I have very understanding and caring parents that would. No, that's fantastic. Good, good. Congratulations. I'm thrilled for you, but you're not taking care of your bills. Okay. You're not. Yeah. I need to get back on that. It's a, it's a budgeting thing. That's I've never learned how to budget. Nobody taught me how to budget. That's the problem. So I'm I'm going to like my sister. Um, Don't listen to your sister. Don't listen. go because we everyone that comes on the show we give our budgeting program to free for free. Mm -hmm. Literally thousands of people, tens of thousands have taken it, and thousands of people have already reached back of how it's changed their lives. Go through it, please. That'll actually teach you how to budget. Yeah, and like I'll like I'll get my check, and the first the beginning of the month I'll take out like three four hundred dollar oh, i'll take out like three hundred dollars and then my next check will come in and then i'll take out another 300 and that's 600 boom that's my part of the rent and then i pay my phone which is 120 i got a new phone i pay my I'm car finance your phone yeah i don't have insurance on it too so i'm only paying it off and then when it's paid off i'm good um probably a bad idea because i dropped my phone a lot but you know it's okay um but and, case. and then you um the company i use my car for they um, they let me split up my insurance payments into two payments. So I'm paying 126 on the first and another 126 on the 15th. So pretty much the first of every month is my, my car and my rent. We'll teach you how to actually budget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ended with a dollar 71 in your checking account and 276 in your savings. A dollar 71? What happens if a payment hits? I, I, that's one thing I do. I am very careful as to what payments are going to be auto collected out of my account and when i need to put money in the account um yeah it sounds like we can really afford to go to dutch bros <laughs> hobby lobby some taquitos and michael store yeah. and little caesars and cash app and out 61 bucks <laughs> and there's your super eight and mm -hmm. playstation network yeah we can afford that 20 dollars when you're don't have money in your i got a place like cooper no you don't I got a place like and cooper. you cash app out 
a dollar. And then McDonald's, 15 bucks. I'm hungry. Starbucks, congratulations. Make a sandwich. <laughs> if I've got the money, that's that's my analogy. If I have the money and it's it's available to me and I don't have to pay anything right then and there, I'm going to I'm going to use it and then You have a brain, use yeah, the brain as well. I do. And that no, not financially. That would say that that's not how finances work. Yeah. That's not how finances work. Yeah. You want to be able to retire at some point, or do you want to work until you're 90 and drop that on the Walmart floor? What's what? What do you prefer? I like to have a 401k in the future. Yes. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. Okay. So, um, we cannot have a dollar to our name in yeah. that case, because where does that money go? How do we put into a 401k? How do we put into a Roth IRA? Yeah. How do we put into individual stocks? Because you know, I don't what know. Because do I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no, it's not about even knowing how to do it. I'm saying even if you did know how to, it doesn't matter. You have a dollar. So that's where, no, you cannot afford things right now, like the PlayStation Network. Yeah. Because you should, now that you're 20, you should be contributing to this. Because what's awesome, I mean, I would rather you do 20, but even if you're doing 15% starting now on a monthly basis that goes into investments, mm -hmm. man, you're with the time on your side for compound growth, it's insane. You're retiring so, you're just retiring comfortably, and it's great yeah. with minimal effort. Mm -hmm. Etsy, Shine. Sheen. Door, Sheen, DoorDash, and Starbucks again. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, we can afford that with a dollar in our checking account. <laughs> These are all my miscellaneous things. Again, if I have well, the I know! it's They're called bull is what they're actually called. <laughs> if I have the money, if I have the spare money, or if I donate the day before, I can use that donating money to get what I so want. So you disagree with everything I just said then? No, no, no. I agree with everything you're saying completely. Then why did you just say that you can do that? Because if I have the... Okay, I disagree with everything you're saying. But again, if I have... Why? You don't want to be set up for success in the future? I do. I do. My... Then your philosophy just completely counteracted that. Yeah. I don't think I have like much of a fallback, honestly. I, just... I know. You don't have an emergency fund. That's like basic personal finance 101. My emergency fund would be my credit card. No. Your emergency fund is your parents. Well, Which, my again, parents have my credit not card. Not independent. You can't take care of your own. Well, I mean, they're... Good thing they have your credit card. I would cut up your credit card. You're not a credit card person. Not even close to a credit card person. Yeah. I mean, the slap in the face really helps, yeah. But, like, I mean, obviously, having parents that I can go to in a time of need is great. No, that's good. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah. The thing is, is you are not independent, like, the way you're thinking. You are not taking care of yourself, like, the way you think you are. Yeah. A dollar in your checking account, they're paying some of the bills that you're required to. An emergency pop-up, they're there. So, what mm -hmm. that is showing, you not taking care of your accounts, you... Uh, not being set up for an emergency when you could be, but you're deciding to, again, 9% on things that don't really matter, 10% on things that definitely don't matter, then going out to eat another 4%. Then they, with those actions, even though coming from a good place that I support the place in heart, mm -hmm. they are enabling you of going out and spending your bull instead of you actually taking control, building an emergency fund, paying off your debt, starting to save for retirement. Mm -hmm. Because you know they are there for you to just fall back on. Yeah. And I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to, I mean, I'm paying little things here and there. And, I mean, just being able to pay my bills is just showing them alone that I can. You're I can not. Have I we, how many times have we been over this? Do you I not am. know that your credit cards is a bill? Well, yeah, but that's not a bill that I'm worried about currently because it doesn't still matter. Being it's a bill off. that it exists. It's it a is. bill that exists. You don't get to pick and choose what bills we worry about. The <laughs> bills is. are the bills are the bills are the bills. <laughs> so no, you are not paying your bills because you're relying on them to pay some of your bills. Right. So stop with that. Well, everything aside from that bill that I can start to cool. We're picking and choosing. That's fantastic. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Just admit that you're not taking care of. Sh I did. I'm not. Of course, I'm not. There's okay. there's a lot of other things that I could totally be paying and helping them pay off. And it's from them, it's a requirement that at some point I start paying it off because they've been paying it off since last year and, and so on and so forth. So, um, I mean, with me paying off my because they basically said, you move out, you're going to be paying this and this and this. So be prepared to do that if you want to move out. I was like, OK, so we started slowly. I started I took my um my phone bill off my credit card because my phone bill was connected to my credit card account. So I took that off. I started paying that. It was 80 something a month because I had an 11 and I upgraded to a 14. So now it's 120. So I'm paying 120 for my phone right now. And then 
Um, and I'm, 1400 for rent. Yeah. Um, and then my car is 126 um, split into two payments. Wait. What? Are you feeling a bit dirty? Are you a s for index funds like me? Or maybe you prefer BDSM, bonds, dividends, stocks, mutual funds. If that sounds like you, your finance daddy is only giving you these exclusive designs through the end of this month, and then they go away. And if it's not for you, you can eat my assets. Get your dirty money shirts, mugs, posters, stickers, and sweatshirts before time runs out at the end of this month. Go to shop.calebhammer.com forward slash dirty or click the link in the description below. My insurance company for my car, they're letting oh, me- Oh, but not, not a car, car debt, not car no, debt, no, no, car no, no, insurance. No, no. Yeah, insurance. Um, it's split two payments a month? Yeah. What's what's each? 126.05. That's disgusting. <laughs> so like 256 something, right? You know, if you know how to properly budget, you would not need to split that in half. It just seems easier at, I know, right now. Um, it can be if you budget improperly. but Well, I mean, the, the math that I'm doing in my head is... I know. All I'm saying is if you budget properly, you will not have to do that. Yeah. Eventually, I won't have to be able to do that. Once I, I actually get a degree and do the things that I need to do... How are you going to get a degree, though? It sounds like you are not going to pass the class for the third time. And if you fail the class for the third time, what happens? they kick me out yeah and how are you you said you're transferring to a university who's gonna ex who what university is gonna accept someone below 2.0 to community college N no university would do that okay um, so you're not transferring to a university i have to what i'm doing is basically just this is like university of phoenix and they're just trying to scam you for money yeah yeah Don't i tried that, that already that. um really you tried that <laughs> um but then i slowly realized that the government would not pay for my school if it wasn't in go to somewhere full sale and get a worthless degree spend a lot of money yeah student loans no Joking. um but if i don't i'm not taking a math class currently so the classes i'm taking if i bring my gpa up a little bit then they can It'll raise and they'll be like, okay, well, now we can see what other classes we can get you into and see if you do good in those. And if I do good in those, then it'll raise higher, obviously, and then I can get into the, the two math classes. I only need two math classes to, to pass for this semester. I know, but you fit. I only need uh, algebra. What's going to be different this time? I feel that it's different because I've moved out and I have the independence by myself. It's weird. Living at home, I don't work well when I'm being consistently told what to do. So if I'm by myself in my own apartment, I can do my my work. When, when will you know if you've passed or failed? By the end of the semester. And when I can, does the semester end? You're in it right now? Yeah. I started two weeks ago. When does the semester end? April 3rd. Please email us with an update on if you passed or failed. Yeah. Yeah. Please pass. I will. It's it's. I'm really confident in English. I'm in English, and I'm in well, a. That's great. We're only talking about math. Yeah. I'm in a student success class. So that's a class that's just going to teach me how to study better and organize and stuff like that. So those are two classes I'm very confident in. So obviously my GPA is going to come up a little bit. My GPA is a 1.8. So I'm not too far off from a 2.0 GPA. Um, and I'm getting, I'm getting the help. I have a good support system. And living on my own has given me the isolation to do things. How are you, how are you getting food? Are you grocery shopping and cooking? Yeah. Other than the eating out you obviously did. Food stamps. I, my uh, boyfriend has food stamps. So You guys split rent? Huh? You yeah. split rent? Yeah. Well, that's different. What do you mean? This is new. What do you mean? It's 1200 total and you split it. Yeah. So, okay. So, so 600 and 600. Oh, thank you. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. Now that's unfortunately not super like reliable. Like you could break up. Yeah. We break up, I get the apartment. Yeah, you get the rent bill. Yeah. Again, with that, I have an extremely amazing support team and it all it all comes back to How moving. much do you have to put into groceries on a monthly basis? I don't put in for groceries, I put in for money items. So Basically, well, we share each cooperative item that we need. So money items, you're talking like toilet paper, toothbrush, stuff okay. like that. Yeah, I'm giving you a hundred bucks for that. About roughly, yeah. yeah. It's called the toilet paper fund. <clears throat> yeah, and then we so get nothing for groceries. Wow, we okay, get three hundred so food stamps. 
Wait, rent. I thought rent was 1400 Rent can be up to 1400 I take a lot of, I, I use the water a lot. So, so that includes water. So 700 for that. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. What else do you guys split? Utilities. Utilities, yeah. What are utilities going to come out to? Gas, electric, all that? CPS, water, about 150 combined. Uh, internet? Internet. I don't know, actually. He takes care of the internet. Oh, okay. You don't have to pay the $43 minimum monthly payment on your credit card. Very lucky for that. Yeah. Gas. Car gas. Vroom, vroom. I got $107. So he, a uh, good old boyfriend, doesn't drive. So um, I basically take him everywhere. Um, so I take him to work. Um, Sounds like he needs to be on this show. Why the f*** is he like... He's working right now. How much? Uh, he's doing a double right now. I took him to work at 9 o'clock. Yeah, but how many w- hours a week? I think 20 hours a week. What a joke. Why 20. isn't he working more? Right now, it's st- it's stable for him right now. He's making enough to pay rent right now, and it's yeah, stable. Yeah, but he should try to do better, and he should try to get off uh, the uh, uh, government programs. Right, but with the government programs, he needs to make a certain amount to stay on the government programs, so it'd be better for no, what... I he- No, I know, but wouldn't he rather be independent? Wouldn't he yeah. rather be considered like productive and like get himself to a point where he's contributing to his retirement doesn't have to live. Well, yeah. why should why should the goal be to stay on the program? The program is there as a safety net because no one should die starving. Right. That's right. unacceptable. Right. But his goal shouldn't be to stay on. It's not our goal and right now we are But what you just said. Right. We were living off of uh PB&Js and ramen for a good while while we're waiting for sure. our food stamps to come in and uh he makes enough right now to sustainably pay rent for us each month and his half yeah and if each if why doesn't he work more than 20 hours a week the place he works at is a very non well-known company wonderful why doesn't he get another job we're working on that because yeah are we actually working on it because service is still desperate to hire in major cities like san antonio i know i know he could go working overnight at mcdonald's seven days a week that's what he we've, we've applied there he's applied there Never got back to him. Again, whenever I'm working or I'm at school now, he ha- has to walk. And there's very many places that are in walking distance, just that he's working also. And he's working on school as well. So so he's also in school. Mm-hmm. Full time? Part time. So there's there's a lot of things in the middle that we're trying to get done to achieve rent each month while still balancing him getting a new job. Because right now he, he feels stable in the job that he currently is in. But it's not. I mean, he's collecting assistance. We, yeah. It's not stable. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. We're we're trying to work around a boundary to figure out what we can do in the future to make it so that we are comfortable and we can kind of lay back with paying rent. How long have you guys been together? 15 months. Okay. About a year and some change. So, um, first apartment ever. Um, so, living together has been a hoot, but we are struggling to financially figure out because we've gotten a couple arguments here and there and i've been yelled at for buying things i shouldn't be buying and um spending money that i shouldn't be spending so well, i don't like anyone getting like yelled at from a significant other That's no no it's not like that not like that at all oh, okay. but it's just like little nagging like we need to save money well, i do the same right. thing yeah i do the same he needs thing to work more and you need to save more yeah so 107 is what i had for guests does that sound right about like oh. each month about. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anything else you need to survive? Health insurance to the family. Tricare. Okay. Uh, anything else? Any ongoing medical expenses that you have to do for? You're canceling all subscriptions. They do not matter. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I go to therapy. Sure. What's your copay? Uh, thirty-five dollars. And you pay it mm-hmm. a week or a month? Uh, I go maybe. Tw- I don't go as much as I should, but how often bef- do you go? Um, uh, maybe twice a month. So 70 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I totally support it. Feel free to double it if you want to. Always worth fitting the budget. Same with like a gym or something. I'm uh, trying but to. we did not have that. I would if I could. Walmart is 51 bucks. But based on what you said, it was probably all bull. You don't grocery shop. Mm-hmm. So great. That's another 2% of your spending that could have went towards that. Didn't. Could have went towards an emergency fund. Didn't. Could have went towards your retirement. Didn't. I've started a savings, but then something. You started a savings something radical would happen in yeah, my that's life what a savings is for so what are you gonna do if you don't start a savings and the next radical thing happens i just gotta sit in a corner and cry at that point or just no you fall on your support sh- system i don't fall on the support system i let them know that it happened whether they i'm not gonna sit here and say i go spare change i don't i don't i don't spare change anybody 
but I tell them it happened. I know, but you'll never need an emergency fund ever in your life if that just continues to happen. Yeah, they they do help me out a lot. They I I do tend to fall back on them, and it's I feel bad for it, but at the same time, I do, I do. I try. I don't try. I'm trying to figure out what that I what I can do to not have to fall back on them because before I was asking for gas like every day every hour every week but it's been a while since I've asked for gas money so I feel proud kind of that I'm not I'm not asking for money here and there anymore um but I haven't had a time of crisis yet so I haven't had you know needed anything from my from my parents just yet to unwillingly by the way because sometimes they'll just send me money here and there just because out of common courtesy of their hearts because they know that I'm not against the concept and the heart of it. It's just, yeah. It's just you learning and actually being independent. Right. Which you are very much not. I'm trying to be. Mm, there's stepping stones to these things. I certainly did not see any stones stepped on. <laughs> yeah. Some, some cracked and some flew away. So, you know, uh, that's why I'm in school. It's a learning process. I'm also looking into financing more tattoos in the future. So Why? Because I'm independent now. But financing? Yeah. So debt. My my not is that debt? Well, financing would be debt. So my tattoo company, they offer like a fine. If you want to get like a tattoo that's like a thousand dollars or more, oh. and you can't pay it right there. Oh no. Um, they can pass like a credit check on you to see if oh, you can no. see if you can finance yes, the that tattoo. Is yeah, 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 yeah. So um. Uh, I didn't get approved for that because I don't have enough credit. <laughs> yeah, you don't have anything. This is this is this is what I was talking about with the enablement thing. And this is where I'm like, I don't think you've learned your lesson. So I think we bring your mom into this conversation. She does not want to be on camera, mm -hmm. uh, but we will bring you nameless, mm -hmm. uh, just audio only. So I mean, okay. I, you were sitting down in the um, guest area lobby mm -hmm. during this conversation. My big fear, and what I kind of want to just can. Not necessarily confront you on, but ask questions. Is this credit card debt? She obviously built up a big balance on the credit card debt, um, and she was moving out. And what she was telling me the whole time is that she's essentially independent and taking care of her bills, but she's not. You guys are paying for the credit card debt. Yeah. Now, my big concern is, especially with what she just said, going and just blowing all the money and financing on some tattoos. Is what you're doing and paying on this card, is that really helping her? I don't know if she's learned her lesson. But I'm telling you, I yeah. have Let the money. Let her respond. <laughs> no, it's not teaching her how to be responsible and how to budget her money better and how to ask herself, do I need this or do I want this? But I need to and to do, to do with what you have. Mm-hmm. Why are you guys paying for it then? Because it's I think it's like harming her actual future. Not that I, again, not that I want her to have to pay off debt. Right. But clearly from what you were just talking about, I don't mm -hmm. think it's helping her. So why why are we doing it? Uh because you love me. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing well with the credit card. She would, you know, put a gas in her car and she would charge it and she'd pay it off and it went really well. She would get the credit card up to you know two three hundred dollars she'd pay it off and we're like wow you're doing great good, with it yeah. and then i kind of like put it in the back of my mind and then a few months later i asked her oh how's the credit card doing months. and she's like oh it's about four thousand dollars and so my husband said no more so he well, took it, good. he took it, and we knew that she couldn't pay it on her own since she had just moved out. But why not, like, match it with behavioral changes then? Because she's still going out and blowing a solid 33, maybe close to 40% overall. I'd say closer to, like, 30%, actually, of her money on things that... She doesn't need. She not only does not need, does not benefit her at all in any way. Right. It's not getting her towards anything. She doesn't have an emergency fund. She's not paying on the credit card. So why didn't we balance that with like, okay, I'm okay with you guys putting money towards it, but why not make it 
where she has to change behavior in order yeah. to do it. Because again, I don't think we've changed anything here. No, but no, you know, that's, I think it's a bad thing on the parental part of it. What? There's a balance left of 1,418. Yeah. Would you be open? I hate this. This sucks. Mm. Would you be open with just, I, th- I think she has to pay yeah. off the remaining. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't. I think you have <laughs> to. I think not. you need to yeah. learn, dude. That's yeah. going to, you know what that's going to turn into? You saying that is going to, is going to make <laughs> my, the budget that I have in my girl brain go down. No, no, no. And then. It's so your debt. I'm going to. It is your debt. But then I'm going to have, that's another thing that I'm going to owe. And then if you're saying that I owe, if that well, here, I like. My, I'll tell you how the math works. My budget. With the money that comes in and the money that's left, you have an extra 576. The minimum monthly payment on this is $43. You can easily fit that in your budget. So on a minimum monthly basis. And then what you're learning for the first time in your life is how to sacrifice your finances, be an adult financially, and the extra $350 or so will go towards paying this off and you'll pay this off within like six months or so. Uh, a little more than that. Closer but to a where's year. Where's the money for me though? No. Where's no. no, that's a genuine question. Where's the money for me there, though? No. Nope. Because nope. nope. you're nope. you're an adult. I am, yeah. No, no, no. You're <laughs> in this situation, you will be an adult. Okay. And you're actually taking care of yourself. You're learning sacrifice for the first time. You're learning independence because you actually want to be independent, like mm-hmm. you said. Mm-hmm. You're actually taking responsibility for the first time in your life. And that's trust me. That is taking care of yourself more than any bull extra things that you're spending on McDonald's and Starbucks. You're actually taking care of yourself and learning valuable lessons for the first time in your life, which Mm. sets you up for success in the remaining 60 decades of your life. Hopefully more than that. Let's live a long, healthy life. But remaining, it's not 60, six decades, Mm -hmm. seven decades. Let's go eight decades (laughs) of your life. But that's what that's setting you up for. Money for myself, money for myself. Those words there is just stems from complete immaturity and lack of sacrifice. Yeah. But there's always room for not improve. There's always room for like, cause the money, the, the, what's the word? The miscellaneous money that I have left that either goes to food, tattoos, vapes, or my own self. Either. Vapes? Yeah. What? You know, I vape. Don't even start. Oh God. <laughs> well, that's. Well, first of all, that's double bad. That's financially bad, and that's terrible for your health. Yeah, we've been through the the years of smashing them as my dad finds them, and then they just gave up, and I still use them. Well, smashing is probably not going to be what's actually effective to quit, but no. uh, I wouldn't also just continue and just allow that to be your future no matter what. It's like, a I very, would try to see... very hard process to stop. But no, of course, of yeah. course. I, I, I am not dim- dismissing that by any no. means, no. but... I don't think we put that in the budget. You can't afford it in your health wise, cannot afford it. Remember when I said six, seven, eight decades? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna get there if we're putting things Mm -hmm. in our lungs. Mm -hmm. I mean, with that, if I have the money, like ten, twenty dollars. You don't. But I do. No, 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 no. Not if you want to pay off your credit card and when uh, they stop putting money into your credit card. But you're scaring me now. This conversation's gone to a place where I'm scared for you. When I go home today. I feel immaturely, I know, being being honest, immaturely, I'm going to want to take what I have for rent right now out and go get food and then say to myself, I'm going to go donate plasma. They're going to give me $100 and I have that back. Okay, so instead of saying that to yourself, we say we're an adult and uh, that's obviously wrong. Oh, well, I, I just said it. Myself. Well, I just said it for you. Will you it. will you listen? Are you open to listening to people? I am very open to listening to people. Okay, can whether you listen or not, to me? Well, yeah, but whether or not I okay. take the advice Why? when I come home. Why? Because... You know, it's a choice, though. It is. You're literally it is. choosing it. So why do you, why won't you choose for a better future? I feel like, just like the credit card, I feel like I've got to get hit in the face mentally okay, to understand. Okay, she needs to get hit in the face mentally. So what <laughs> I almost beg of you, and I, again, hate that you have to do it, Please don't put another dollar towards a credit card. I think she needs to learn for the first time in her life how to be responsible. Yep. Or else I think when you guys pay off this credit card, I think in the future she's going to build the balance all the way back up again. And then that's totally on her. Yep. But I think if she doesn't have to take care of this remaining thousand five hundred, I think she will do that. But I think if she has to take care of this remaining thousand five hundred by sacrificing, I think that'll prevent her from just building up a credit card balance again. Now, to be very clear, when I was your age, I was doing much worse. And then I, but I actually learned, I started to have this conversation, the conversations that I give are the ones that I needed in a very forward, direct way. 
you know, people started to tell me this is bad. And I started to learn more about personal finances and I sacrificed everything to get out of the much worse debt. But that's what you need to go through. And I promise I would love you to be in a better place than I am at 29 now, almost 29 now. And you can do that because you'll have more time on your side by starting early. So just do that now. It's so worth it. It's the people that I surround myself with. That okay, well, now we're just making bad. excuses. I'm not making excuses. It's genuinely a problem. It's the people she that I... bad s- people around her? Yes. I'm getting a big... Yeah. Yep. So why do we surround ourselves with people we actively know are bad? Because we struggle to make friends. So That's hard. That's a very hard part, especially I'm, with adulthood. I'm in my 20s, friends. and I do not, I do not have friends. Um, I have friends who I've known since high school but they're bad influence very bad influence yes okay i'm sorry and again this sucks this is not a i want to do type thing but it's like if they're a negative impact on your life even if that means we're a little more lonely for a bit i know it's another interruption but you can get five thousand dollars by listening to the end of this right now if you transfer your portfolio to moomoo which i personally use for my individual stock picks you can get up to five thousand dollars it's literally free money and an amazing investment platform and it's what i personally use so check it out in the description below i highly recommend it i know that sucks so much i hate that you have no idea how much i hate that I do not want to say that, but if someone is negatively impacting your life, we have to cut ties. I, I need someone to therefore smack me in the face so that I can understand that. I'm slowly understanding that. You're, but with me, I'll slap you in the face. Please don't. Um, <laughs> um, with working at the hotel that I work at, I, the money is totally worth it because I deal with nothing but crackheads, prostitutes, and people that are there, there to just pass by. No, I so know. it's a super well, eight. It's a very rundown super eight. So what, what do you what do you try? The fact that, I don't know, the fact that like... That doesn't mean you should still hang out with people that are going to be bad for you. Well, that job gives me thicker skin. It's given me so much thicker skin to not give a crap. So the people that I hang around with, I'm very... What about your boyfriend? Is he a part of this group? The bad influence? Yeah. No. Okay, then rely on your boyfriend. Allow your boyfriend to be your best friend. He already is, but allow him to be your best friend. And just, you, I if they're a bad group of people, man... I think so. I I would never want to push blame on other people, but I will just go back to my past, and I've talked about it many times on the show. Like big piece of many many errors and things I've done wrong, and it took me a lot of mental health help and self discovery and hard conversations to improve my life. And a lot of the initial things, it's no one else's fault, but I was in a bad group when I was younger, mm-hmm. and eventually. Finding new friends that are great people was a massive thing for me mm-hmm. in my development in life. I'm You're not going to get anywhere in that part of life if we just sit with the old group. I'm a people pleaser. I've had people tell me just to shut the f- and sit the f- down and not worry about past, present, and future and just... Well, stop. Stop and you go to therapy twice a month, talk to your therapist about this yeah. and work on different mechanisms around that. Yeah. If you're going to be paying the copay, don't go in there and just say what you want the therapist to hear, which is what a lot of people do, especially on this show. I'm going to be off of TRICARE in what, 2026? So I'm going to have to find an insurance company for Either when you graduate college or when you turn 26. Yeah. Damn. So, but you will, we'll, we'll, we'll have like a. You know, a good career position is what we're going to aim for by then. Mm. That's where that 26 age comes from is giving you that chance in between college and then to hopefully start landing into a good career position that comes with benefits. Yeah. And I want you to do that. And a lot of that requires also you just figuring college out as well, which is a whole other part of this conversation. So thank you, (laughs) mom, for making you pay 1500 i know that we're sucks. gonna have a talk on the two-hour drive home oh, please don't Lord. give in i know yeah. i know it's so hard uh, whatever crying and yelling might happen <laughs> whatever crying and yelling might happen please do not give in because your future you're gonna hate it but your future is so much more important she knows so I'm, much more she important. knows i'm gonna get a tattoo next week so oh no i don't <laughs> you never told me well now you do <laughs> oh no riley uh, paydays on the first. Do you not care? I do care. No, she doesn't. Yes, I do. Nope. With, the, with the language you're using, and your mom knows you better than anyone, mm-hmm. I don't think you care. No. If I know in my head that I can pay everything off comfortably when I can, the money I have left over, the math There's goes, no money left over. There is money left over. You have $1,500, over. and uh, you're going to have an extra $500 on a monthly... Okay, wait, wait, wait. $1,418.96 is what you have to pay off on this credit card. Mm-hmm. You have an extra $500 left over after the new minimum monthly payment that you need to start putting towards this. Mm-hmm. That's going to take you 
three months. Three months to pay off a card, but you won't have extra money for those three What's months. What's the minimum payment of that? The minimum monthly payment is $43. So technically, you have a little more money. So if I pay $43 and above the minimum balance in three you months, mean I'll just have it. double? No, 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 no. I'm saying if you pay the remaining $500 you have left over after your needs, uh-huh. that's when you pay it off in three months. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, if I say I'm confident in paying that and I still have money left over, but I'll put- But you won't. Ha- I, put, I gave you- Yes, I will. No, all the money that you put towards it is all the money you have left over. But I still make a good- I can separate all of my expenses into the two paychecks that I make a month with the $80 no, no, or no, the no, 80- Do you not understand? I made your budget with every dollar that has come in. Yeah. After every mandatory expense you have to live, you have an extra $576 left. I'm just taking that $76 away for the new minimum monthly payment and just a little wiggle room. Mm-hmm. And that extra $500, which is all you have left, unless you go make more money, that's the only different part. Yeah, I would make more money. But if you make more money, you also put that at the credit card so it's almost done. Yep. So it goes quicker. And what you also need, this was another thing that she was talking about when it was coming to leaning on you guys. She goes and spends the 30% on BS... That could be going towards eventually an emergency fund because she thinks if something bad happens, she can just lean on you guys to cover for an emergency thing. Now, of course, that's a good heart. That's a very good heart. And I wouldn't want to see you get kicked out on the street or anything Mm -hmm. like that. So I think, again, I'm good with helping in a situation as long as you see that she is putting all the money she has left over to go towards an emergency fund. If the behavior is correct, then we can help support. But if you're going to just BSing, then you need to learn some tough life lessons. So after the three months of all your money going towards the credit card, I mm-hmm. still need to save up a fully funded emergency fund, which is six months of $1,424. But I mean, do you like my, my dinosaur tattoo? I'm sure it's fantastic. It was $100. So $10,000 is what I need you to have saved up. $10,000? <laughs> yes, because I it's either a six month emergency fund or ten thousand dollars, whichever one is bigger. And the reason why I do that is because, dude, you've never had anything crazy medical happen to you, as far as I know. No. Never had a major car thing happen to you that you've had to pay for, as far as I know. Ten thousand dollars is the bare minimum that you're gonna need in this life that you live. At twenty years old. Yes. You expect me to have ten thousand dollars saved up not, at twenty. Not years expect. Old. I'm getting you there. I'm getting you there. I'm not saying. You should really, everyone should start at 18. It's so much easier said than done. But this is where I want to get you to out of just you just being healthy and safe financially for the rest of your life. Yeah. I can live off of PB and J's and ramen. find a better job. I'm okay more. with the job that I'm currently no. A better job will get you there a lot quicker because this will still take an yep. additional 20 months at that point, which is almost two years. It's like a year and a half. But combine these, it's like two years to get rid of the one little credit card and get a six-month emergency fund. I also have a cat that I have to take care of as well at home. So well, okay. Don't well, know that, why you have the cat. <laughs> the extra seventy six dollars that was there, we can put that towards the cat, yeah. outside of the forty dollars minimum monthly payment. So, this is a two year process. If you don't change jobs, if you sacrifice completely, and that scares me because from everything you've said, lack of maturity, lack of responsibility, I don't think you're going to be able to maintain that for two years, mm-hmm. and I think you're going to beg. No. For mom and dad to pick up the yeah, they they know that at some point, any some way, shape, or form, that I'd be able to repay them back at some point, whenever I am stable enough and my mature, mature We're enough. Not gonna live forever. Well, <laughs> you know, by the time you're eighty, well, then we're maybe, hoping for a very long time. <laughs> by the time you're eighty, I'll come to you with oh, yeah. like sure. a grand, and yeah. you'll be good. Right. Add that to your four hundred one k, mom. You said. Why do you roll your eyes at four hundred one k? You want a four hundred one k? I do want a four hundred one k. So all I'm saying is, I mean, what you just said was eventually when I'm mature and blah, 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 mm-hmm. enough, you're an adult. You're two years into adulthood. Be yeah. mature. Grow up. Mm-hmm. It's done. No more being a child. Yeah, I, I know. No, I, you I, don't. Because you just said when I'm mature enough, I'll pay it back. So no, you don't. No, you don't. Don't lie. There is always room for improvement. Always for everyone. But yeah. you're already using the self-justification of when I become mature enough, I'll pay it back. That's unacceptable. Be but mature. I've, I've been surviving for the past three months, the four months that I've been in my apartment, though, you right? Not, no, you have not. Remember, she's paying the bills. And she's she's in the backdrop. If an emergency happens, if you can't pay rent, you're relying on her to pay for it. She's paying for your credit card. No, you are not surviving. How many times do we need to have this specific conversation? Do you think that I like, like four times asking now. them for money, though? No. did I, I never suggested that. But you're allow, you're saying you're surviving, but you're not. They're paying for it. 
I don't think I'm getting through in this conversation. <laughs> I am more mature now than I was when I did the 4,000 credit. And when I'm I more did mature the... now than I was three weeks ago. That's how it works. But don't <laughs> use it as a preemptive excuse to make ex- things are going to happen. But don't preemptively excuse it. Then you're just allowing yourself to justify it in the future. I will pay off the credit card. And then if some major instance happens, that credit card will be used for that major instance. And then it'll all come together. It'll be paid off. And once it's paid off, I can come back to you and you can pat me on the shoulder. We'll be good to go. I hope so. Yeah. But I'm sorry from everything you've just said in this final like 20 minutes or so. I don't think this conversation's gotten through to you. No. I'm I'm really sorry for the conversation you're about to have on the road home <laughs> uh but really stick to your guns please because mm-hmm. it is her, for her future yep. and i've seen too many people who were in her situation at 20 who are now 30 who have been on my show that are in 20 times worse situations because they never had someone that was able to mm. actually put them in the right place so please for her future yeah i promise if yep. you put anything extra towards the credit card if you put anything towards any kind of emergency fund make sure it's coinciding with her behavioral changes yeah. properly budgeting taking our budgeting program you guys can take our budgeting program together mm-hmm, you can take yeah. it with your boyfriend as well it's it's all for you guys yeah mm-hmm. we're gonna so. hold her feet to the fire please do i don't want to yeah. burn don't I think you need to don't burn yeah. me yeah don't burn my bank either <laughs> when you, i was her age oh god and my husband and i i worked two jobs my husband worked three jobs and we were still struggling yeah Still eating cereal for dinner and ramen. And uh, and you nag at me that I'm doing this. No, that's how you started No, they out. were taking care of their stuff without we relying were. on someone else, correct? We took but care of the bills. We didn't go out to eat. It. We didn't. She asked my they grandmother. Sacrificed. She asked my grandmother for $10, 20 here as well. <laughs> Don't lie. No, I'm not saying it's completely wrong for you to ask for help. Again, it's with the behavior. It's you're going and spending the money and yeah. then going to someone on bull, bull crap. That doesn't matter. Bull. Sorry, I swear, mom. I know you. You you were out there, and now I feel like I need to. You know, but, um, you're good. Uh, you're going and spending the bull uh-huh. and expecting to be able to go ask for the money. If they went and had to ask for the money, but they were sacrificing on everything, that's a completely different situation. Hmm. I would be okay with me supporting you. Mm-hmm. Me supporting you if you were completely buckling down and you're like crap i buckled down here's months of proof to do it and this thing came up and that's different i had to learn that. myself about credit I, I asked a couple questions here and there to her and then she would explain it to me okay. and you know how i'm bad at math so she'd explain it to me and then i'd be like okay i you're understand you're deflecting you're justifying i'm done with this conversation I'm not do, you justifying. Have any, do you have any final thoughts i do not i'm scared for your future please get it together i'm and going I'm, to I this feel is, this has definitely changed my perspective on life and how i deal with i hope things. so because you are not showing that in your language and conversations i tend not to make eye contact very okay. easily <laughs> cool. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calophammer.com.